Welcome back. Welcome back, Math Party people. Anderson here, your math coach. And in this video and in this series of videos, we're going to be talking about his order of operations. You might know it as PEMDAS. Well, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, all that good stuff. But we're going to be practicing all the different difficulties, I would say, of order of operations. First, we're going to start off with two steps. We're also in the next video going to look at two steps with negatives involved. Then we'll go to three steps, then four steps, and we'll keep going from there. So my math party people, let's go ahead and get started and let's understand the order of operations. So I'm going to go ahead and have this right over here on the side so we can remember that PEMDAS, when we do PEMDAS, remember this. This is really the most important fact that you need to know, all right? And it's going to be this. Multiplication and division are the same operation. Addition and subtraction are the same operation. What that means is you'll do whichever comes first. So another better way to write PEMDAS is going to be right over here. We can say, please excuse, but then the M and the D for multiplication and division on the same line because it's whichever one comes first. Then addition, and subtraction, whichever comes first. Remember, they are the same operation. Adding and subtracting is just moving to the right and moving to the left, but it's just movement. Multiplication and division, getting bigger, getting smaller, changing size. So again, whichever comes first, I can't say that enough, but let's go ahead and use that and let's get to work. So here we go. 15 divided by nine minus six. So parentheses is what we'll do first. We're gonna do first what's in the group. So we'll leave that 15 by itself. And inside of that group, that nine minus six, that'll become three. So this becomes 15 divided by three and 15 divided by three is five. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and keep practicing here. We're gonna do about 10 problems here. We got this. And remember, once you're done with this, my party people, remember, don't just stop here with this guided practice video. If you're in the course, which you should be, up next, you're gonna have another video for negatives, then you have the worksheet, and then you're gonna have your drill set. The drill set, remember, the speed drills, those are there to help you practice on your confidence and your speed while you're being timed. That's how you're gonna pass your test with flying colors by understanding that when you practice to the point of not having to worry about the timing, you're good to go. So here we go, number two. Nine plus seven minus two. Here again, addition and subtraction, whichever one comes first. So we'll do nine plus seven first, which would be 16. Then we have 16 minus two, and that'll be 14. That's gonna be answer choice C. Let's keep it going here. Number three, we have nine minus five minus three. Again, you're gonna work to left to right, so nine minus five, that's gonna end up being four. And then four minus three, that equals one. Answer is C again. Number four, we have seven plus 10 times four. So notice how we have addition and multiplication. Which one comes first? Multiplication. So we're gonna handle the 10 times four first. And so that'll end up being seven plus 40. And then seven plus 40, that ends up being 47. So again, staying calm, cool, and collected over here, staying calm, cool, and collected, understanding your order of operations is gonna be the most important thing for us to do. Here's another one. We have nine times four plus six. So yes, it's nine times, but we have a group here, four plus six inside of a parentheses. So basically remember, parentheses comes first. You do whatever's inside the parentheses first. Four plus six is 10. So this becomes nine times 10 and then we do nine times 10, which is gonna be 90, and that is choice D, just like that. Let's go ahead and go to the next one here, number six. So number six over here, we have six plus four all multiplied by two. So again, in a parentheses, you have six plus four. So we'll take care of that, and that's gonna be 10. And then from there, we multiply by the two, and that gives us 20, and that's gonna be A. So notice here, we're, you know, we're looking at order of operations here. We're gonna have plenty of other examples here, so let's keep going here. Let's keep working. We have number seven. Seven minus 16 divided by four. So be careful here, my party people. We're not gonna do the seven minus 16 first. Notice that, remember, it's parentheses, exponent, then multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Here, I notice that we have division first, so we'll do 16 divided by four first. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. 
That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. So this turns into seven, that's an ugly seven. Let me go ahead and make that seven minus 16 divided by four is four. And so I'll write that right there. And seven minus four, that's gonna be three. And that's answer choice B. Let's keep it going. Number eight, we have nine times nine minus six. Sounds good. In the parentheses, you'll do the parentheses first. So you have nine minus six, which is gonna be three. So we have nine times three, and nine times three equals 27. That's D. Booyah. Again, we're taking it nice and slow here. Here's another one. Eight minus one to the power of three. So this right here, my part of people, that's an exponent. That's an exponent right there. So what we're gonna do here is we have eight minus one cubed. Remember that one cubed, what that means is one times one times one. Basically, remember the exponent right over here? That tells you that you're multiplying the one by itself three times, three times there. And we know that anything times one is just gonna be itself. So one times one times one is just gonna be one. So this turns into eight minus one, and that equals seven, and that's A. Let's keep it going here, my party people. We got this, four plus five minus three. So again, what we're working on here in this first video is gonna be two steps. Then in the next video, it's gonna be two steps with negatives, but from there, we're gonna have three steps, four steps, and five steps, six steps, and beyond. So get ready for those by first starting here. So we have four plus five. Again, just go left to right when it comes to addition and subtraction. So that becomes nine. Nine minus three, that gives you six, and that's D. Let's keep it going here, number 11. Number 11 over here, we have one minus four minus four. So take care of parentheses first. Taking care of parentheses first, four minus four is going to be zero. So we have one minus zero. One minus zero is just gonna be one, B. Again, keeping it calm, cool, and collected, knowing your order of operations is really gonna spell success here. Six times 10 minus eight. So we'll do six times 10. That's gonna give me 60. And 60 minus eight is gonna give me what? 52, right there. Nice and straightforward. Up next, number 13. We have 20 minus four divided by eight. So I know you see division there, but remember, we have a parentheses right over here. We have a parentheses, and so we're gonna take care of the 20 minus four first. 20 minus four is going to be 16. And then 16 divided by eight, that's gonna give me two. And that's answer choice D. Let's keep the party going, my party people, here we go. Number 14, we have five plus one, all divided by three. I think I'm gonna do all 25 here, I got you, let's go. Five plus one, all divided by three. Five plus one, that's gonna give me six. And six divided by three, equals two. B. Next up, number 15. We have five plus one all to the power of two. So remember, what we work on first is gonna be parentheses, and then the exponent will come second. So with that said, five plus one is gonna be six, and so we have six squared. Remember, when you have an exponent, that exponent tells you how many times you're multiplying that number by itself. And so that'll end up being six times six, which is 36. And that's answer choice A. Let's keep it going here, number 16. We have 30 times two, all divided by six. So what we're gonna do first here is take care of that parentheses with the multiplication inside. 30 times two, that'll be 60. Then 60 divided by six, that's gonna end up being 10. Nice and easy. Boom, C. Let's keep it going. We have two times 12 divided by two. So if you check a look at this, well, we're gonna go from left to right. Remember, multiplication and division are the same operation, so you're just gonna read this left to right. Two times 12, that's gonna be 24. And then from there, we're gonna divide by two, and 24 divided by two equals 12. And that's C. Taking it nice and slow, my part of people. Number 18, 12 divided by two plus 10. So we know that multiplication and division come first before addition. So 12 divided by two, that's gonna give us six. Then we have six plus 10, and that's gonna be 16. D, let's keep it going. Number 19, we have six divided by seven minus one. The first thing we need to do is take care of the parentheses. So in the parentheses in that group, we have seven minus one, 
So this turns into six divided by seven minus one, which is gonna be six. And so then from there, six divided by six equals one. Again, keeping it nice, calm, cool, and collected, you'll be able to solve these very, very confidently. One plus four, what's that gonna be? That's five. Then we have five minus two, and that's gonna be three. That's C. So let's keep it going. Number 21, right over here. So what you should have been doing at this point is pausing to try them out and then playing to see me do them. So here we have a group, so three plus two is in that group. So seven minus three minus two, or three plus two, which is five. And so now we have seven minus five, which is two. Booyah, right there. So with that said, let's keep it going here. Number 22, we have 10 plus six minus six. I'm looking at that right there. If you add six and subtract six, that cancels out. That's gonna end you right there where you started at 10. But let's go ahead and show the work. 10 plus six, that's 16. 16 minus six is 10. Again, if you add and subtract the same thing, you, start, you end up right where you started. If you multiply and divide the same thing, you end up right where you started. Number 23, four times 24 divided by three. So over here, what we're gonna do from left to right, four times 24, what's that gonna be? And just like this free YouTube video right here, my Math Quarter people, I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake and a free math class every week, once a week for two hours. Click the link over here to sign up and get started and keep raising that score. Let's get back to the action. If you need to go ahead and write this out on the side, sure, go ahead. So times four, four times four is 16, two times four is eight, carry the one is nine. So we end up having 96 divided by three. And if you need to quickly use some long division, sure. But 96 divided by three, you can break that down with mental math. If you've already watched my mental math videos, you know that that will be what? 32. So with that said, dividing into 96, three goes into nine three times. Three goes into six twice. So that'll end up being 32. And there's our answer there. Let's go to number 24 here. 10 minus four divided by two. So here what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take care of four divided by two first. So we have 10 minus four divided by two being two and 10 minus two equals eight. If you would have done this the wrong way, what you would have seen is you would have done 10 minus four, which is six, six divided by two is three, and you would have gotten A accidentally. But no, it's not supposed to be done that way. Remember that we need to follow the order of operations. Number 25, the last one before we get into negatives here, six plus seven minus six. So here, what we're gonna take care of first, six plus seven, that ends up being 13, and then 13 minus six is seven. And one thing you can look at this as, if you want to rearrange this, you could actually rearrange this to being six minus six plus seven. As long as you bring the sign with you, you can move addition subtraction problems. You can move them around in whatever way you want as long as you make sure to keep the signs and the numbers. So if you're subtracting something, you can move it to wherever you want. If you're adding it, make sure you keep it plus. But either way, you see that the sixes will cancel, leaving you with just seven, and you're good. And so with that seven math party, people, moving forward now, you're gonna go into the next video where I'm gonna be talking about what? Order of operations, three steps with negative numbers now. That way we can get used to incorporating that in there. And then from there, you got worksheets, you got your speed drills, that way you can practice this for speed and show your, your skill set, that way you're all good. And so with that said again, my party people, I'm Anderson, your math coach. I'll see you in that video for negatives and I'm looking forward to seeing you improve with all that practice. Let's get to it. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.